Kohalah, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, which is all praises to the Most High Yahweh, in the name of His only begotten Son, our Deliverer, our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and Dawan is that I had apostles of Israel, which are the apostles at Great Millstone, who taught me this truth. Peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men that is pushing the gospel of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, in all sincerity and all truth, which is the 144,000. And also the men, women, and children that believe on Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach, with all their heart, with all their soul, with all their might, that's keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of their ability, and that's staying in the Holy Spirit to the best of their ability day in and day out. Peace be upon you. All right, um, this is just going to be a quick um, lesson, you know, uh, basically on the topic of, uh, you know, the family of the word is, is approaching us, you know, rapidly, okay, because... This uh, article, which was uh, published on CNN, it was published a year ago, you know, during the campaign of of um, uh, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton, you know, back a year ago, you know, a lot of people didn't think that Donald Trump was even a possibility of becoming the president. Okay, and now here it is, a year removed, and now he's the president-elect within, you know, the next month, and month and a half. You know, he'll be uh, inaugurated into being a president. But uh, this um, headline reads, Donald Trump wants to close up the Internet. OK, so, you know, when this came out, you know, people, a lot of things that Trump was saying, you know, people, they didn't really take it seriously because nobody really thought that he would actually be president. But lo and behold, you know, the spirit, the, the Lord, Yahweh had it to where um, Donald Trump was uh, 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 elected or selected president, uh, elected president, and his uh, his uh, um, his uh, uh, rhetoric of what he was talking about that he wants to do. Now he has the opportunity to enact those things, and one of the things he wanted to do was to close up the internet in certain areas of of of, of the United States. Okay, which. This word, okay, the word of the gospel of the Lord, the gospel of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, is mainly preached through the internet, okay? It's mainly, that's how this word is going out through the four corners of the earth, and that's how we know that that's how the family of the word is going to come, okay? And here it is, you have now, you know, uh, Donald Trump, and and uh, everything is falling into place for, you know, this prophecy to come to pass, by way of taking shutting down the internet okay so i'm gonna read this uh read a couple of, the, of this uh paragraphs i'm just gonna really really read the first two uh, uh paragraphs in this article you know i'll put the link in the description okay it says donald trump has called for a shutdown of the internet in certain areas uh to stop the spread of terror okay so now that's what they're saying is the main reason why they want to do it but really you know it's really through the spirit it's just it's to stop this word from going out it's to stop you know um the uh, uh the men of the lord from prophesying because the lord has already prophesied that he's going to stop the men of the lord from prophesying all right the famine of the word okay and once that happens we understand and know that the elect is sealed okay and you know the destruction of america by way of thermonuclear missiles in world war three is you know right on the cusp okay but um it says that uh, in a speech at a at the USS Yorktown in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, on Monday, Trump referenced the use by ISIS of social media as a recruitment tool. He recommend he recommended a discussion with Bill Gates to shut off parts of the internet. All right, so parts of the internet. Okay, that they're saying that ISIS is using, which they created ISIS, all right? The American government created ISIS. They already openly admitted of training, you know, ISIS ISIS uh, uh, members down in uh, Jordan, all right? So they're not really concerned with ISIS, okay? They, they have ISIS right where they want them, okay? They have, you know, uh, if they really want to wipe out ISIS, uh, 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 American government, NATO, they could, they could do it, man. You hear, you have ISIS. Here, you have supposedly Russia, Syria, America, and America's allies all fighting a, a, uh, uh, a terrorist cell. And you're telling me that they can't control them, they can't uh, destroy them. All right, think about that. These superpowers are fighting against a couple of Arabs with some AKs. 
and you're telling me that they they are are winning uh the isis are winning no okay they're using isis as a ploy as the boogeyman to move these different um laws into place okay just like how they did with 9 11 they they set up 9 11 so that they can set up the patriot act okay which in the patriot act it states that all um american citizens can be considered terrorists all right so you know that's why the scripture says that we're not ignorant of satan's devices all right we understand what these what these devils are really trying to do and what they really want to do is shut off the internet so that this word doesn't go out because us preaching this word is bringing down their kingdom but what they don't understand is that this <clears throat> this is already prophesied okay that that the, the lord is going to send a famine of the word all right so he says we're losing a lot of people because of the internet and what they re really mean like i said you got to have a spiritual mind and, and understand what these uh puppets are really saying because you got to realize that these puppets are really you know are working for the super the, uh, super elite the central bankers so a lot of the things that these puppets are saying you got to realize what is really being said by the elites okay so when you read what trump said here we're losing a lot of people because of the internet they're losing a lot of the uh of the uh of israelites being wake woken up to who they are okay they're losing a lot of uh goyim they're losing a lot of sheeple that are that are not stuck in this dumb docile of uh, uh state okay you got israel waking up to who they are waking up to who the devil is all right these rothschilds these Rockefeller, rockefellers waking up to the wickedness of the society okay they're not being you know more no more led to the sheep or no more led to the slaughter as a sheep they're realizing who the enemy is they're realizing first and foremost and chiefly who their power is Yahweh, and the name of his son Yahweh shy so they're not no more calling themselves you know negro latinos and native americans they're you know becoming re, uh, their, their pure minds is being stirred up into remembrance of that they're that they're, they're the uh the children of israel so what trump is saying is that we're losing a lot of people because of the internet because how are they waking up it's chiefly because of the internet okay these these videos that you're listening to like this one that i'm doing now is waking our people up and we're using the internet to do that okay the spirit and power of yahweh bashim yahweh shai all right it says we have uh reading on it says we have to go see bill gates and a lot of other different people that really understand what's happening why because even bill gates is is, is a part of that um that a lower level elite to uh basically try to depopulate the um depopulate you know the uh the uh, population okay he's all into you know uh vaccinations he's all into the you know to the chip all these different things to try to get our people to be uh destroyed so you know he's a part of that he's a part of that uh that uh uh that uh, a hand of, of of trying to you know keep israel you know um a, as not being a nation all right so he's saying that we have to go see bill gates and a lot of different other people that really understand what's happening we have to talk to them about maybe in certain areas closing that internet up in some way all right which is what that's why they they have on books what they're trying to uh you know what they're, they're, they're doing is trying to have certain you know restrictions on how to um you know put up information on the internet okay one of the things that they were talking about is having a a, a governmental id for you to be able to have access to the internet okay they, they also talk about um uh, uh uh using your social all right or, or some type of um identification to um to uh uh, uh, uh be able to post you know stuff online okay they're trying to close up the internet chiefly because you know like i said before they want to you know uh stop these prophecies from going out they want to stop israel from being woken up they want to stop the prophets from speaking but like i said it's really all just the lord man all right you know that now that they have like i said this this article is a year old but now they have this whole rhetoric going on going out about fake news okay now they're trying to clamp down on fake news which is not fake news it's just not what they deem as being news that are being um, pushed out by, you know, the six uh, uh, giant corporations of media, okay? Because you have a lot of alternative media going out that are bringing out, the, you know, a lot of good information, and they're trying to stop that information from going out because Esau, because you got a lot of these uh, uh, Edomites who are so-called truth seekers 
they're bringing out you know the uh the the wickedness of what the government is doing and as the scripture says if Satan stands against Satan how can this uh be the Satan be a fight against Satan how can this kingdom stand so you got Edomites you know these regular low level Edomites that are speaking against this Edomite system all right this Esau system and it's crumbling its system and you and while that's happening you also got the prophets out there that's taking these uh media uh these uh these uh um these uh, news clips and, and these current events and they filter them through the scriptures on what the Lord is really doing okay and that's why these elites they, they want to stop this internet from going out all right so it says somebody will say oh freedom of speech freedom of speech these are foolish people we have a lot of foolish people okay and they see saying this that they're foolish people because you know according to the Constitution all right of of esau of america you're supposed to have freedom of speech but here they're saying that if you claim freedom of speech that you're a foolish person <laughs> and it's really he's saying that because really there is no constitution okay the, the the government does whatever it wants man all right and he's saying that these are foolish people because they're 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 claiming freedom of speech but they don't like i said they don't they don't the, the constitution the, the government don't give two shits about the constitution all right so these are foolish people if they really think that the constitution can stand all right because it's because um you have martial law and during martial law the uh the constitution goes out the window all right and which martial law is going to be enacted here in america all right and one of the ways of martial law uh um one of the enactments of martial law is shutting down is shutting down you know uh media shutting down the internet okay shutting down free speech okay so get this scripture right here this is uh second ezra chapter five verse uh i'll start at um 10 it says and shall be sought of many and, and should not i'll start at uh nine shallot. it says and salt water shall be found in the sweet and all friends shall destroy one another then shall wit hide itself and understanding withdraw itself into its secret chambers all right and what is the ultimate wisdom what is the ultimate uh, understanding is the understanding and wisdom of the scriptures, all right? Which the Lord gave unto the prophets to give unto the uh, to feed the the sheep, feed the elect, all right? And the way that the, the the prophets do that is is mainly by the internet, okay? It says it shall be sought of many, and once that happened, a lot of you people that you know taking this thing as a joke, taking this thing as entertainment, okay? A lot of you people that just watch these videos because. You know, you like a, how a certain brother talks, or you like how a certain brother, you know, uh, 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 make fun or, or, or analogies. And if you're not really in this for your how about shim now all right, then you ain't gonna have that oil. So once that all hell out, when this once this you know famine comes, you're gonna start actually seeking for that wisdom and knowledge, all right. But it says what, and, and it shall and yet not be found. You're not gonna be able to find it because you ain't gonna be able to go on the internet and find these videos that you've been taking advantage of and not taking seriously, all right. It says, then shall unrighteousness and incontentency be multiplied upon the earth. And one land shall ask another. And when it says land, it's not talking about the actual physical land. It's talking about the people in that land, okay? So it says, and one land shall ask another and say, is righteousness that maketh a man righteous going through thee? And it shall say no, all right? And what is that righteousness that makes that makes a man righteous? Righteous. It's the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Lord, which you get through, all right, the scriptures, all right, and, and having the Holy Spirit supping with you, okay, and knowing knowing the name of Yahweh and the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, that's the righteousness that makes the man righteous, okay? And that's what the true prophets are, are, are going out there and teaching, okay? But what? Once this famine comes, once this internet gets shut down, you, you're going to be trying to find, you know, uh, uh, um, people and ask them you know do you know anything about the uh know anything about you know how, how to get right with the lord and they're gonna say to you no why because if they're, if they're not a part of the elect if they're not a prophet then they ain't gonna have the answers man all right they're not gonna have the answers and like i said before you you people out there taking this as a joke you know the times are short man you know the things are happening quickly all right here it is once again in this article he he, he explicitly said that what closing up the internet in some way all right a year ago nobody thought that he would become the president but now here it is he is a president and guess what it's in his mind to do this still it's still in his mind to try to shut up the internet in some way because ultimately that's what these elites want man and like i said that these are just puppets these are uh so-called presidents are, are puppets for the elites man all right 
in every business, every corporation, because America is a corporation, the president is not the highest person of that corporation, man. The highest portion of that corporation is the board, okay? Is the board, the people that you don't see. That's who that's who um, uh, put these presidents in certain different um, corporations in their position, okay? The CEO is not even the highest person, all right? It's the board, and, and these elites, these Rock, Rockefellers, these Rothschilds, these DuPonts, all right, they're the elites, they're the board of of, of the, the corporation America, man, all right? So this is uh, Mark chapter 13, verse 33. It says, take ye, heed, take ye heed, watch and pray, for ye know not when the time is, okay? So you're not going to know when this time is, where, when, when the famine of the word is going to come, all right? You're not going to know. You're just going to wake up one day and try to go watch some videos, you know, try to go, oh, well, I'm bored. Let's go see what's, what's being talked about today, you know, uh, 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 amongst Israel, okay? And you're not going to be able to click on and, and none of these videos, none of these videos is going to populate on your feed, okay? You're going to have a big uh, uh, government, uh, FBI or, or CIA or, or government blockage on your on your internet, man, okay? And then that's when you're going to start bugging out. That's when you're going to try to try to find the righteousness that makes the man righteous, and you ain't going to be able to do it, okay? It says, for you not know when the time is. That's why Yahweh Shah said he's coming like a thief in the night, man, all right? So, you know, with that, hopefully, you know, this is edifying into the elect. Okay, brothers, got to keep continuing watching, knowing that this time is short, man. We almost out of this bitch. Call lawyer. How about Shimmy? I was shy, man. All right. Shalom. I tell the press, you got to stop calling them masterminds. These are these are dirty, rotten scum. These aren't masterminds. Remember the guy in Paris with the big, dirty hat? Remember the guy in Paris, the mastermind, I was watching all the network, I won't mention who, but some of them disgusted me. The mastermind is on the loose. The master. And we have kids that are watching the internet, and they want to be masterminds. And then you wonder, why do we lose all these kids? They go over there, they're young, they're impressionable. They go over, they want to join ISIS. And we have our anchors, I think I got them mostly stopped. Did you notice that? I don't hear it too much. But they say, the young mastermind, oh, he's... Brilliant, young man, he's brilliant. I don't even think he's got a high IQ. I call him, in Paris, I called him the guy with the dirty, filthy hat. Okay? Not a smart guy, a dummy. Puts people in there, a mastermind. Bing, 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 they start shooting everybody. You gotta be a mastermind. So the press has to be responsible. They're not being responsible. Because we're losing a lot of people because of the internet. And we have to do something. We have to go see Bill Gates and a lot of different people that really understand what's happening. We have to talk to them, maybe in certain areas, closing that internet up in some way. Somebody will say, oh, freedom of speech, freedom of speech. These are foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We have a lot of foolish people. We've got to maybe do something with the internet because they are recruiting by the thousands. They're leaving our country. And then when they come back, we take them back. Oh, come on back. Where were you? I was fighting for ISIS. Oh, come on back. Go home. Enjoy yourself.